Welcome, my name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I am bringing you a collab video with the beautiful and amazing Anya. She reached out to me to collab on this video and I'm so excited. She's absolutely amazing and you really should go check her out. She's on a no buy at the moment. She does will I buy it uh, opinion videos and also just recreating colourful eyeshadow looks from her current collection based on new releases. She is just coming out with new and interesting content all the time. I really love her channel and I couldn't believe it. I know that Annette tagged us both when she initially did the 20 things in 20 brands under 20 minutes video. So I think that's sort of like where it all came from. So thank you Annette's Makeup Corner and thank you so much to Anya for wanting to collab with me. I'm so grateful. I think your channel is amazing. Really I love the content that she's coming out with. I reckon you should go check her out if that's, if that's in the cards today. I'll leave a link for her down below. I'll leave a link to Annette and Annette's 20 things video. This all started from Jen Loves Reviews who did 20 things I love from 20 different brands and it's interesting and it's good and I've actually had quite a lot of fun watching people's videos about this because it is interesting to see what people love from the brands. I tried to maybe bring in some underrated products there's definitely some that you know about already in this range and there's definitely stuff that you you watch my channel you've seen me use a lot and it was super stressful for me. I don't I tried to choose things that I've used a lot of from the brand so I've got an opinion of the brand and what I'm interested in from the brand and what I've tried so that it's not like this is the only thing I've tried but I love it it's amazing I really put a lot of thought into this okay <laughs> I'm really looking forward to seeing what Anya chooses so I'm going to start out and let's start out with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance I've tried a lot of stuff from them this shit is just the bomb I have really oily eyelids and it is it just keeps them matte it keeps the eyeshadows on place it's it's fantastic shit you definitely should try this out if you have oily eyelids. If you don't, like, try it as well. The Bad Girl Bang Mascara. This is Annette's Makeup Corner's favourite one. I desperately need to go buy this in full size. I'm sick of using it in a mini, but I love it. I'm wearing it today and it is just perfect. Lengthening, volumizing. It's everything you could ever want in a mascara. The Smashbox Photorizer Primerizer. I'm still working on my mini from this. I've tried a fair bit from them. I've tried their shadows, some of their other face products and stuff but the primerizer it's i'm very oily I, I find this is quite a nice hydrating primer to put on underneath your makeup and it doesn't interact i've never really had a bad reaction with my make like my makeup going on top of it it dries really nicely and it just feels really nice on the skin sticking in the primer range um a lot of people do mention the gloss bomb from penny v but i'm gonna go to the primer i've been using this for a couple weeks now Shit, this is this is a really good primer especially for oily people and it's a good one to test out I just, I really like primers, man. The gloss bomb is bomb, but I feel like this is, I feel like you need to test this out, especially if you're oily. Then going into Mecca Cosmetica, this is an Australian brand. If you ever come to Australia, this is the one product you should pick up, the Mecca Cosmetica SPF 50. We are militant about our SPF protection and what you're allowed to sell as a sunscreen. This shit is amazing. If you're oily, it's, it's just the perfect. To save face SPF 50 sunscreen. It dries beautifully and it settles on your skin beautifully. It doesn't interact with any face products. I've never had it interact with a face product yet. All right, so for, I'm gonna be like bronzers and highlights. I feel like this is one that people don't talk a lot about, but it's hourglasses, bronzers and blushes. I feel like they're a bit underrated. I specifically love their minis, but this is a bronzer blush formula that just blends in beautifully to your face and they're just super easy to use. I love minis. I'm obsessed with minis. I just, as you can see, a lot of my stuff's travel size. But I just, I like to try lots of different things from lots of different brands. And I don't want to invest in full size. For concealer, it's the NARS Radiant Creamy. Uh, I use the shade Vanilla. It's really nice. I like it. It's not too drying. It's not too, like, hydrating. It's the perfect combination and perfect coverage. It doesn't spread too far. It's hard to put too much on and it's just really easy to use. From Flower Beauty, their lip blushes. Uh, specifically, I have a Peach Pimp Rose and I just, I really like their blush. I'm wearing it right now and it's just a really nice formula. It's cheap, it's affordable. You should go try it out. From Super Beauty, I've only really tried the Hydro Liners and some of their eyeshadows. The Hydro Liners are just bomb diggity. If you saw my Pokemon Go collab, you saw me using these as blue steel. I love it. It These are just so easy as liners. And if you want to get adventurous with your liner, this is 
it's the best way to go in. Get some paint brushes, a little bit of water, and you're gonna be having a fun time in no time getting some beautiful lines on your eyes. Um, yeah, I never understood how people did those graphic liners for so long. Now having these, I know. I want to buy them all, collect them all. From Stila, I'm a bit of a, I'm pretty into Stila. I would say I've tried a lot of their products as well. I've been to a Stila event uh, that they had at Mecca, which was really cool. But their standout for me is the glitter and glows. And I think a lot of people do love these. This is a new shade I just picked up the other day. It is a Deception, but this is a beautiful humidrome. You probably will get this soon in the US, I believe, but it was a special release for Mechaland. And then I went to the Mechaland after party on the weekend, which was like, yeah, I'll talk about another video. But anyway, they gave out uh, samples of Rose Gold Retro. Well, no, I paid money. So this is Rose Gold Retro, which is one I've owned before. And just just the beautiful bronze shade. It's quite lovely. But these are really nice. They make they can be a bit too glittery sometimes if you're going to the office. You know, just like tell the people I was at the office like to get over it. It's fine. From Anastasia Beverly Hills. I originally went for the glitters, but they're no longer available in Australia and they're not biodegradable. So it's the Anastasia dip brow for me. I'm wearing it right now. I love it. It's easy to use and it's such a simple product. I've recently like just put dual lined it. Goes on so beautifully, so easily. You can go heavy, you can go light, you can do whatever you want. And it's got a lot of versatility. And it lasts like for ages too. From Sephora, it is the waterproof makeup remover. I've talked about this before. I love this. I have multiple bottles of this. It's just so easy to get everything off. One swipe and that hard to get off mascara is off. Uh, I love it. From Makeup Forever, it is the Mist and Fix 2. I was a huge fan of the Urban Decay D Sleek for a long time. I still am. I have a bit of a setting spray problem. But the Mist, this is so underrated. I never hear anyone talk about this. But this shit sets your makeup and it keeps it in place. And it keeps oils at bay for, like, I think for a fair while. I would say this is the longer lasting than pretty much any other spray I've used yet. Then we have the MAC Fix Plus. I do have a normal size of this somewhere, but I just love this in the minis and I love the scented ones. I want them all, but these are perfect for eyeshadows, um, making your makeup a little less powdery. It's just, this stuff's really good. And it's one of my favorite things I've ever tried from MAC. I've tried a fair bit of MAC products. From Maybelline. Now, I never bought, I only, I bought this like a month ago, I think, but I am loving this shit. And it's the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. This stuff locks in your makeup all day, dries it down, looks beautiful. It doesn't leave like a huge cast of shade on my makeup and it keeps it always at bay, which is like, that's an ongoing theme in all these products. From Sydney Grace, and they really only have eyeshadows, glitters, and uh, cream eyeshadows. But for me, it's their cream eyeshadow that I love. Anyway, I love their shadows. They are amazing. But if you are going to try something, I'm a fan of these lovely creams. This here is the shade Boardwalk. But they go on super opaque, spread beautifully, and they dry beautifully, and they last for ages. I really want to buy them in different colors, just so I can have a bit more fun with them and set them down and play a lot more with them. But the Sydney Grace Cream Shadows, they're a beautiful formula. I highly recommend from NYX and I have I, I quite like a lot of NYX products but it's the NYX faux white liners and if you've been watching me recently you knew this was coming these are beautiful creamy pastel liners they brighten up your eyeline they're just they're freaking beautiful I love them from Urban Decay this was a hard one because I love a lot of Urban Decay products and you just saw it but it's the Urban Decay eyeliner specifically in the color Freak I just I love this shade I love it so much and it goes on so easily it's beautiful it's it's just I love I love I love it I love the eyeliners but I'm gonna specifically say freak is amazing for eyeshadows now this took a long time because a lot of brands I have really only dabble in eyeshadows and I'm not super into base products but I have dabbled a lot I have dabbled a fair bit a reasonable amount in Inglot and I've got to say their eyeshadows. They are just bomb diggity. There's no other way to describe it. They're beautiful. 
they're easy to go on, they're easy to work with, and they're reliable. You can create your own palettes, they're affordable. I really love the Inglot shadows. They are just beautiful. And I have so much fun going in and being able to select them instead of buying them online. I think there is a lot of Inglot stores around, but I don't know. I just, I like the experience of buying Inglot shadows and I like going in. It's taken me like a year to finish these palettes. I'm really happy with where they are. And finally, the 20th, I really hope I counted right. I'm so sorry if I didn't. But the 20th product, and I thought long and hard about this, but it's ColourPop and it's their eyeshadows. I really like this, these ones obviously. I own a fair few of these. But ColourPop eyeshadows for the price, the size, the durability, the travelability, the amount you can take them with you. <sighs> their shadows. Colourpop shadows are fantastic and I love them dearly and they are my favourite product from them. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I hope I did this video justice. It was really stressful to actually go through. <laughs> it makes me just want to test more makeup because I love testing makeup. I love playing with new makeup all the time. It just, I don't know, it just makes me so happy and I'm loving watching Anya's channel. Please make sure to go check her out and subscribe because she does amazing work over there. I love seeing what she's doing and if you feel like it, I'd love it if you considered subscribing to me, you know, that would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. I hope I didn't speak too fast. Anyway, I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Thank you so much. Mwah.